Hello, good morning. It's Saturday. It is 9.50 in the morning. I finally got out of bed. Laying in there for like an hour. <laughs> Saturdays, man. Uh, but I gotta clean the apartment. That's what we're gonna do today. And I'm gonna show you guys how I get better lighting. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how I like organize and clean up quickly. Um, I'm a pretty messy person, so I know how to clean up well, if that makes any sense. I don't know how to stay clean, but I know how to pick up clean up well. So this is the living room. There's Dixie. Just a bunch of stuff that I just kind of have been laying around. I haven't gotten around to it. And then here's the bedroom, you know, just like normal bedroom stuff. So... IRL. <laughs> so now what we're gonna do get better lighting. No. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how I clean up. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make the bed. Um, I find that having a clean bed and an organized one with like the blankets and everything fixed um, makes it easier to put other stuff on top of it so you don't have to worry about it. So I just, I don't know, that's the first thing. It, always helps me just like get on the right track and the right mindset. Um, today we're actually going to finally be putting my new bedding on. Um, I got a new comforter from Buffy that we'll talk about. I'll put the duvet on it and we'll go from there. So this is from um, Buffy. It is a new comforter line. So Buffy says, you did it, celebrate because Buffy comforters are animal friendly and contain no animal products. Um, every comforter uses three pounds of goose down. This one does not. Uh, with Buffy, you're saving 12 geese from living, from being live plucked, which doesn't sound very great. Um, Buffy's natural eucalyptus, eucalyptus uses 10 times less water than cotton, which means you've saved 800 liters of water. You're welcome. Thank you for choosing Buffy. You've made the world a more sustainable place. You are so welcome. So it comes in a big bag like this. Ooh, it is soft. It's really soft. It feels very like silky smooth and very cooling. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to strip the bed, and they'll put that on. My weighted blanket, it's so heavy. This comforter is from Ikea, and I've had it for like five years. I mean, it definitely does the job, but I won't miss you. It's really soft. <laughs> Can it stick around it, you know? By the way, the gingham headboard um, is made custom for me from Society Social. My gingham bed sheets were LL Bean. Um, this obviously from Buffy. I have a 20% code if you want to use it below. Um, and then this duvet cover is from Country Curtains. Fresh out the laundry. Now this is not the proper way to put on a duvet, like at all the proper way. And I'm probably gonna regret doing this, but there's no turning back. Technically what you're supposed to do is turn this inside out, pinch, put the comforter over it, lay it flat, and then like literally just like reverse it. But like who got time for that, you know? Not me, girlfriend. Okay, it definitely wasn't as bad as I thought. It's V-Soft. Okay, so that is 
the bed. It isn't like fully completed with, you know, like our big pillows and whatnot. Um, but fun fact about me is I actually don't put the big pillows on my bed just because I take them off every night. So I only put them there if we're like shooting or have people over. They stay up there. So those are like my European Kings. And then the, that matches the bed at the foot, the blanket at the foot of the bed. Okay, so next. So next in our cleaning process, I put on some music. Music's on. Step two is to look at everything that's out of place. Alexa, pause. Like, really, what's going on here? Hey. Um, biggest step of all, I personally think, is to pick up anything um, that's out of place. Is not where it's supposed to be. So like, basically everything in here, um, and you put it in a pile of the room or near the place it's supposed to be. So like, the biggest thing for me is always my shoes and my clothes. So I always throw my clothes in a pile on the bed, that's why I like to make the bed early, and then my shoes in a pile by the shoe shelf, which is right there. And so this way, you like can collect them all at once. You like go around, grab every single pair of shoe and you put them right in front of the shoe shelf. Every single pair of clothes, put them on the bed. So that's what we're gonna do today, or that's what we're gonna do right now. So I know this might be a little weird because like technically it's the you're touching it a couple times rule but what I do because sometimes like with cleaning you get like really overwhelmed with all the stuff you have to pick up so what I do is I put everything that's out of place in one spot right here in the living room and so now I only look at it as like a small circle of stuff I need to clean up I think it helps. And the one exception to this pile is that um, any kitchen stuff doesn't go in it. If you look, it kind of looks better now, right? Like there's not as much stuff that's just recycle. And so now all it is is this one pile of stuff I need to get rid of. This is a pile of boxes I need to either unpack or send back. I like to call it messy organized. So actually, my camera needs to charge. Okay, we're kind of charged. We're gonna get back to cleaning because I'm just standing here being like, what should I do? So now we tackle the pile. Easy enough. Now we're gonna move on to the bathroom. Cause that's all that's left. Carry everything on over. Boop. Actually. We're gonna tackle. Closet. So really we're gonna fix just the bottom two shelves. So this is all the makeup I need to organize put away. And here is my brush organizer, lipstick, here's my makeup, and here's my jewelry. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean this out because I haven't cleaned out in a while. Like there is makeup in here that's real like these. No 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 no. So to be totally honest, like 100% honest, it's a different week, a different weekend. It is officially one week from the last time I just saw you. I know it's only been two seconds for you, but it's been one week for me. I mean, you can't even tell because my bed's a mess. But I wanted to finish this up because I never cleaned my bedroom. Um, after my camera 
after my um, camera battery died, I just didn't turn it ever back on. I didn't clean up anything. Um, but I did finally organize, I think where we left off is the fact that I organized my um, makeup. So I want to show you really quickly what I have down here. So these are 3M um, shelves. You just kind of stick them to the wall. I have them for my brushes and then my favorite lipsticks. Um, here, I'll leave all of the acrylic um, organizers down below, but this is for your beauty blenders. These are for my brushes. This is for my makeup and then lipsticks, lip glosses, setting sprays, extras, and all of my like costume jewelry. So that is organized and ready to go. The rest of the closet is not organized nor ready to go. And I have the hiccups. I just ate a lot of Swedish fish. <laughs> But what we're gonna do now is, God damn, that's lighting. <laughs> but what we're gonna do now is we are going to actually clean my bedroom. <laughs> I'm gonna go wash my face and I'll be right back. I wiped my makeup off, I didn't wash it off because I'm lazy, but I'm totally breaking my own rule. I did not officially make the bed before I throw my clothes on it. Not good, not good. But what we are gonna do is we're gonna tackle the shoe mess. We're gonna put it away. Okay, now we're gonna tackle this. I'll put you over here. is my laundry from Andrew's parents' house. And I have yet to unpack it, but here we go. Okay, so this stuff goes underneath the TV. Anything workout? I gotta hang these up. Bathroom. Anything workout oh, or sweats? It's actually stored underneath the TV. It looks messy, but it actually well, it could be cleaned up a little, I guess. These are all leggings and pants, workout pants. These are all actual sweatpants, and these are workout tops. And then these are to go out. They're packaged and ready to go. And then in here are where the sweatshirts go. They'll fit. So we're able to fit them in, and then the extras can go down here. We'll shut that door. We've got Pixie's toy. Yeah. Okay. So now I gotta check all that stuff. That stuff I'm gonna like either be trying on um, and shooting for tomorrow or stuff that needs to be returned. So I'm gonna go tackle that box. Um, I forgot, honestly, since it was a week ago when I started filming this, I forgot. Hi, Natalie. Um, I forgot exactly what the point of this was. I think it was how to like clean your apartment or organize your stuff in a quick amount of time, but since it took me a week, this is just kind of like a pointless, um, like three hour, technically one week, but like a couple hour vlog. So um, there's no point to this, and I appreciate you for following along. I guess it's more of like a daily what the F am I doing, and now you know. 
Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys next time. <gasps> Bye.